So let's start today by talking about the Democrats' very weird strategy for the midterms. That's the only word that I can think of that adequately describes what clearly the entire party has decided to do to try to win over voters. Now we're less than two months before the midterm elections. The weird strategy that the Democrats have implemented is simply calling conservatives fascists and terrorists. You heard this last week in Biden's very creepy, very devil standing at the gates of hell speech. I cannot believe what kind of idiot light tech would have decided to put those creepy red lights behind Biden as he as he pounds his fists in the air like Dwight Schrute. Remember that episode of The Office when Dwight Schrute was imitating Mussolini at that big paper conference? That's what Joe Biden looked like, except Dwight is a fictional character, which made it kind of funny in the uncomfortable way. And Joe Biden is a real powerful person who, by the way, also used the military, used those two Marines standing behind him as props to his political speech, which is a huge faux pas in politics. When you are giving a purely political speech, as he was, obviously, he was campaigning for the midterms, presidents do not use the military as political props. But Joe Biden did when he was speaking from the gates of hell. But this, this strategy is very weird, right? It's very counterintuitive. It's very, I don't even know if out of touch is the right word. It's just the question that comes to my mind when I see this is, is this how the Democrats really think that they're going to win the midterms? Because it won't work. The American people, you and I right now are suffering from inflation, from high gas prices, from a border crisis, from violence that's running rampant in cities across the country, from radical gender theory and critical race theory, not just being targeted at our children in schools, but being forced on people in the corporate world as well. And we're being called, we're being called terrorists and fascists if we oppose these things. Yeah, no, I don't think this is going to work. It, it's basically, does Biden think that Republicans are suddenly going to become leftists who reject everything that Republicans believe in and embrace everything that Joe Biden wants to turn our country into because Biden insulted them, because he threw names at them like racist, sexist, bigot, misogynist, terrorist, fascist. I, I don't know if Biden understands how it feels to be falsely accused. Because Republicans and conservatives are not fascists and they're not terrorists. And the physiological reaction that any human being has when they are falsely accused will not make Republicans and conservatives more likely to vote for Democrats in the midterm simply to redeem themselves in Joe Biden's eyes, to get back into the good graces of a controlling, woke, elite ruling class who wants to manipulate our every move in order to control our country to morph, to morph the United States into Marxism. This is such a wild miscalculation on the Democrats' part. Biden literally told people in his speech to reject legitimate political differences. And in the same sentence, Biden condemned all Republican views if they're in alignment with Trump as being illegitimate. This is what communists do. Biden falsely accused us, you and I guys, of being extreme. This man who is at the helm of a party that rips babies limb from limb in the womb, that supports removing the healthy uteruses and the healthy breasts of young girls, of chemically castrating healthy young boys, the left that supports big tech censorship so that you can't say what you want to say, the left supports spending us into inflation, wants to transition us off of fossil fuels onto quote unquote renewable green energy that will take us back to pre-industrial revolution poverty. I think we know which side is extreme here. And it's not the Republican side. 